Fundamentals. Let's talk about it. Today in Car Chats with Robert. Hi guys, this is Robert Rivera with the Rivera Trading Group in association with Train Trading Academy. And when it comes to fundamentals for a technical analyst, uh, the main fundamentals that we're interested in is news. And unfortunately for me, I forgot last night that USD had news this morning, like a lot of news. Of course, I was aware that GBP had news. It was coming at 4.30 in the morning. And so I set out uh, a setup that should have provided a, it was, it is still a nice setup. <laughs> it's bad. It's bad when I have to say that it is still a good setup <laughs> because what it means is that nothing happened. All night long, nothing happened. Now, what did happen for me is that I lost some money because I kept trying to catch the breakout and I didn't get it. And I ended up really over trading. You know, I lost some trades and then I, I got some back. And in the end, I ended up like 180 in the hole or something like that, which is no big deal. But still, it's frustrating night because I was not aware that news was coming out on the USD. I was aware of the GBP and the GBP did nothing. You know, when 4.30 came, nothing happened, you know? I was watching it, nothing happened. Um, but then I forgot completely about the USD news. And in fact, had I been awake, I would have been able to make some money on that 10 a.m. candle that shot up to the sky. Let's look at it in the charts. So looking at the market last night, uh, this is the setup as I had it. Uh, I had a trend line coming from way down south uh, that provided a good opportunity for a sell. Um, if it came about, if it broke down below it. Um, and in fact, it did some at some point during the night. Yep, at some point during the night, it did break below. Uh, but when I sent it here, this is where price was at. I was actually in class teaching about the about how to find the zones and all this other stuff. And of course, we we're very aware that it's running into an area of supply in the market and is run into uh, a golden zone also, which is part of the Fibonacci. Uh, retracement right above the top yellow line and so we knew it was gonna be difficult going to the top side but what I didn't realize again is that news was coming and that that was going to be affecting the game uh, the news that occurred following did not really uh, at 430 no big deal but because the USD news was coming out the market kept hesitating it kept going up and down up and down up and down very jagged I mean this is what we ended up with uh, as you can tell no 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 continuation you know, I mean, the, the trend line is obviously very well drawn because price reacted to it right there in the middle, you know, right in the middle, and also reacted that, that big wick that went all the way and touched it and came back down also reacted there. But uh, there was no continuation. The price basically stayed within the lines. It broke, um, let me see, what time was that? It broke on the 3 a.m. candle um, and immediately came way back in. You know, it attempted again at the 5 a.m. candle. And it came right back in, you know. Um, this is the kind of jagged motion that you can expect when you have news coming out. And it's just not worth trading. You basically waste your whole night. In my case, waste my whole night trying to catch something that is not going to happen. Um, because, again, the, because of either the anticipation of news or the because of the result of news. When news comes out, there is, how can I say, there's positive news. Okay, it goes up. It's negative news. Oh, it comes down. Oh, positive news. It goes up. Negative news, it comes down because they're all different folders of news that are coming out. It's just not worth trading. And I completely ignored that the USD had news this morning. So basically, it, for me, it would have been a no trade day on the GBP USD pair because GBP had news and USD had news. So it just didn't make any sense to trade it. And yet there I was. Uh, Jay sent out a GBP AUD, but I didn't get a notification. I completely missed it. So I did not have an opportunity to trade anything else. So here are my numbers from last night. Um, as you can tell, I incurred two heavy losses just to begin the night. And then um, and then I scalped my way into uh, a negative 180, basically recuperating a little bit of what I lost. Uh, at the end of the day, I had to realize, okay, I'm, I'm on the edge of overtrading if I'm not already doing so. And my mindset is is jagged like the market is doing the ups and downs right now. I'm not getting any continuation in any of my moves. Every time I take a position that should be going uh, in my direction, it is spiking in the other direction. So basically, um, it was just a wasted, a wasted day. And this is what I mean by the effect of fundamentals. 
when you are a technical analyst, uh, on a day that there are fundamentals, which in this case is news, related to news, um, we should not be trading. You know, we should not be trading. I, I've tr I'm trying to learn the effect of fundamentals on trading, and I'm trying to learn how to take advantage of it. And the truth of the matter is that most times I'm able to take advantage of it just fine. But last night I, I wasn't able to. And uh, it wasn't even that I wasn't reading direction correctly because, in fact, it never broke out uh, in either direction. It never broke out in either direction. So it's not that I wasn't reading the direction correctly. It's that every time it moved and it should have had continuation, it didn't have it. Uh, and, again, that's what happens when news are coming. Either when news are coming or when there are news. There's, there's very jagged moves in the market that make it uh, impossible to trade really effectively. I mean, you could scope if you happen to get it at the right moment and get out real quick. But again, it's not a good way of trading. That's a stressful way of trading. Uh, and trading is not supposed to be stressful. Okay, guys? Welcome back. So, as you can tell, it was a very frustrating night. Um, and again, it, it's not even that direction wasn't known correctly. It's that simply when there are fundamental news coming out, that affect the market in unpredictable ways and the market starts moving in unpredictable ways. It, it, it completely goes contrary to what I know my pair to do. And so I should have known that and just gotten out. Uh, and in the end I did. It's like, you know, 180 is not gonna hurt my account, you know, very much at all. But uh, it is frustrating because I spent the night trying to figure out how to make money on a pair that was just not gonna give it to me. <laughs> And that's really it. I understand that Jay sent out a GBP AUD. Didn't get, didn't see it at all. And so I missed out on that one because apparently it did very well. Um, that would have made up for my losses. But I'll catch it tomorrow. No big deal. All right. So when it comes to fundamentals, news. If you're a technical analyst, in other words, if you're watching support and resistance and you're going by market structure and price action, fundamentals completely messes all that up. Okay. So the best way to deal with fundamentals if you're a technical analyst is not to trade. Take the day off. And I should have taken the day off when both of my pairs, the GBP had news and the USD had news. I mean, it's bad enough when one of them has news. When both of them have news, I mean, it, it really is a wasted day. Anyway, it's a way to keep myself accountable. This is Robert Rivera with the Rivera Trading Group in association with Trend Trading Academy. And I hope that you're receiving value from what you're seeing. And if so, please like, comment, and subscribe. God bless you.